Okay guys, this is a video that I like to call what the hell is wrong with Dawn and how can I fix it? So if you've been using Shopify Dawn or Shopify 2.0 and you changed an old store to a new store, it's not going to work because everything is different. But don't panic because there's a really, really easy way to understand why it's not working and how we can fix it. Okay, so let's talk about the big problem with the change to Shopify if you don't know what you're doing, basically, like I didn't at the beginning. Um, every single tutorial that you will look at, every single tutorial that you look and uh, watch that's been made in the last 15 years will tell you to do something probably to the theme.scss.liquid uh, file in Shopify. And when you look for it in Shopify 2.0, it will not exist because it does not exist anymore and they've completely changed it. And the reason that they've done this is because it allows a much smoother mobile shopping experience. And what they've done is incredible and it's going to make Shopify the best uh, e-commerce CMS available. But there is a problem. Theme.scss uh, oh liquid has gone and every single tutorial is gonna tell you to use that. So what do we do instead? instead Okay, so there are two fundamental things that we need to know, um, and that is anything that you should have been putting in theme.css, or whatever it's called, you now want to put it in uh, base.css. This is the global CSS for your entire website. If you want to change anything about the look and feel of your website, this is the place that you want to do it. If you're wanting to add uh, global basically so um, an example earlier was someone asked me how to change the title font and I told them to put font size uh, you can just increase this to six for example and then another one was they wanted to know how to uh, align the text I don't know if I've spelled align correctly it doesn't look like it uh, and then we put center but the problem with this was um, it also centered the centered the product uh, titles so now every single uh, h1 is uh, centered so if I go on here for example this is now centered and he didn't want that he wanted only the um, page the blog post centered so what we had to do was we had to work out where we can put the code to change this without it being global so all I did was I typed in page on this search bar and I saw section main page so now this in my opinion this means um, that uh, any main page section will have this uh, CSS so I told them to just put text align center here instead and it only changed it for the main pages, so the blog posts, et cetera, et cetera. So if I save this now and I refresh this, if I'm not talking rubbish, hang on, let me go back to, if I go on the uh, page here, yep, this is left aligned, but if I go on, you can't really see, <laughs> I need to sort this out. If I go on about us, is it centered? Yeah, it's centered because this is classed as a page and not as a uh, product page or whatever. So yeah, uh, that's one thing that's completely changed. So if you're looking to change the feel or the look of your website, you should work with uh, base CSS for global things. For non-global things, you can just type in .css here and you can scroll through uh, these assets and you can look for what you're trying to change. So for example, as I just showed in a different video, if I wanted to change the look of my footer, and I wanted to remove this background image from my previous video, I can just delete it. And now you can see that it doesn't look completely ridiculous anymore. It just looks like a normal footer because I'm editing just the footer. Uh, let's say you wanted to change the contact form and you know add some custom CSS and make it look really nice. You would do it here. So this is uh, how you kind of edit the look of Dawn. Anything that you find in a tutorial online the code is correct, but the place to put it is no longer correct. And currently, we don't have the resources, in my opinion, um, if you don't know what you're doing in the back end. 
So that's the point of this video. I just want to show people how they can find out how to customize a certain page. So another thing that you should be familiar with is right click inspect. So I want to, uh, let's have a look. Okay, I want to center this text here, okay? So I need to inspect it. Can we zoom in? Get a zoom in on that? Yeah, perfect. So I am now inspecting, which gives me the uh, the code, basically, if you don't know. You should know that, to be honest with you. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to control F and put dot CSS. As you can see, it's loading base CSS, so we know already that's global, so we don't really care about that. Menu.css is also loaded, search CSS, menu draw, cut notification, etc. But we want to know this specific section, so let's just inspect it again. And it should take us to the correct section. Div class, here we go. Product description. Product underscore underscore description. So yeah, there we go. This is what we're looking for. Section main product.css. So if we want to change something on this page, we know that it'll be in the section product, so section dot product. Oh no, it's here, section main page. Oh no, product. I'm just gonna type in product here because I can't find what I'm looking for. Uh, go down. Okay, so I actually typed in main here because I couldn't find it and then scroll down, section main product dot CSS. And we want to make, this is H1, so let's make it a bit more difficult. We want to center the paragraph section here. So that's actually, it should be very, very easy if I just say, um, uh, can I look for paragraph? Okay, so what we did was I inspected it again, and you can see here div class product underscore underscore description. So I just control F to product underscore underscore description, which took me here. And I'm gonna do text, align, uh, center again, and then uh, a semicolon, and then hit save. And I don't actually know if this is gonna work, but I think it will. Yes, it does. So now this is centered, perfect. So where can you learn little pieces of um, HTML and CSS? Every time you wanna know how to do something, you just go on Google and you type in center uh, CSS W3. You always wanna put use W3, I really, really recommend it. It's really, really good. So W3 schools, and as you can see, oh, let's put text align, uh, text center CSS. So CSS text uh, align, as you can see, center. So I'm not a coder. I hold my hands up and I say that I'm still, uh, you know, fairly beginner in coding, honestly. But it's really not that difficult. It's just using something like W3 Schools to find out, you know, what you want to do. So, and then just working out where to put it. It's really not that difficult. Um, you do need some basic knowledge of, you know, how to set out um, HTML, CSS, et cetera, et cetera. But it's literally just copying and pasting and finding the right place. I would say the most difficult thing is finding the right place, but it, it's really not that difficult. You just, you just inspect it. This tool here, you can see that when I go over this, it's actually highlighting it here. So this is telling me this is exactly what it is. And look, div dot product description is really not as difficult as it might look. You can change whatever you want, basically. So yeah, I really, really hope this helps some people out. It's quite a complicated topic, um, and Shopify 2.0, everything has changed, like I was saying at the beginning. So a lot of the tutorials are outdated, so I am trying my best to make up for that. Uh, yeah, I'll see you really, really soon with some more content, and I'm gonna be working on a few Shopify stores, um, for one for myself and one for someone else. So I'm gonna, be keeping going with this, honestly. I really, really like designing websites and Shopify is a dream and it's helping me learn CSS. It's hopefully gonna help me learn JS, JavaScript, etc., etc. But yeah, that's all still to come and this is just a basic video to help people out. Peace out and I'll see you really, really soon with some more content.